So this is the latest one now. So I have to click anti FS formatted USB, 16 GB of the space. Right click and extract here and then I will click OK to wait for a while. Now is 1.98 defective defaults. Yes. Hello guys, welcome to Glorious Store. Today I'm going to show you how you can download and update the software of SR260H4K. Uh, this, these are, there are two websites for the softwares. The first one is swdw.net and the second one is cwdw.net. So, for example, if I'm going to download the software from here, I have to type 260 from the search bar. It will take little time and Meanwhile, I can also search the software from here, 260, and enter, or click search. So, there are many softwares, so I have to search the specific softwares like SR260H4K, yes, here it is. And there are two, uh, 1.97 and 1.98, so this is the latest file now, so I have to click. So, it is being downloaded in my PC, let me download it properly and then I will show you. Okay, the software has been downloaded in my PC. Uh, I have plugged one USB drive. So this is my USB drive. If I can show you the properties of this USB. It is uh, NTFS formatted USB, 16 GB of the space. It is totally blank USB. I have just formatted it. So let me uh, copy the software which I have downloaded. So this is the software this is in zip format but the software uh, in zip format cannot be readable on the receiver so i have to unzip it from here for example right click and extract here because the receiver uh, needs bin file bin is a binary file actually which could be readable from the receiver so this is the bin file i have uh, successfully copied in my usb drive Let's unplug the drive and replug it into my receiver. Okay, before plugging this uh, USB into the receiver, let me show you this is a brand new SR260H4K receiver. And if you can see, there is nothing special. If I go to apps, for example, it is showing RSS and internet is connected right now. But there is nothing much special, like I can see the weather and uh, some other things but there is no special thing over here let me show you the version of the software this is about stp so this is uh, software version 1.09.21694 and it is updated on february 18 2025 so this is the original software in the receiver for now now i'm going to plug the usb then I will show you the next process. USB has been plugged and as you can see USB is ready. So let me go ahead and go to the menu. Uh, first I will go to media and here you can see there are two files of the same version uh, but one is been filed if you can see in this area it is showing dot bin while the other one is showing zip file so i have to open bin file to update the receiver i have to select the file and then i will click ok it will show a warning message do you want to update software database i have to press ok again from the remote control so it is going to update the software i have to wait for a while during the software update process, please ensure that the power supply remains stable. Avoid any interruptions such as power outage, loose plugs or accidental movements that could disconnect the electricity. If the power is cut off during the update, the receiver may become bricked, stuck on boot or show no display. In such cases, you will need to connect the receiver to the PC or laptop to flash it manually via RS232 cable. Okay, here our receiver has been restarted after the adaptation. So let me go to the menu and here we can see multiple options came here. Before, as you have seen before, there was nothing. Now the YouTube is here, Apollo is here and many other applications are here. Let me show you the uh, settings and about STB. You can see the Orion 
now is 1.98 and the date of software is June 20. So that's it. This is a very easy method how you can update the software of your receiver SR260H4K. Okay, after updating the software, you must have to do the factory defaults of your receiver to enjoy fully full perks. So uh, for the factory reset, I have to go to installation. It will ask the password uh, or the pin. By default, the pin is 0000. And if I go down, you can see factory defaults. Click and then all. Okay. If you select yes, I have to select yes. Okay. And it will take a little while. And then everything will be okay. So this is by default. Uh, when you start the receiver, it will ask you to select the language. Select your preferred language. And okay. That's it.